Field the Spaniard Osmar and at the back Valentinos, the Cypriot central defender. Will that be in the starting lineup? Here come the two teams. And doesn't include Adam Taggart up front, the Australian leading scorer. Every time he appears on the screen, you can hear the reaction of the stadium. That's the biggest cheer of the night so far, and uh, he's just having a drink of water. And we're underway, and it's the Korean home side who can get us underway. Ronaldo looks on. Rogani, first time to Iguain. But that is smart work by Osmar, the Spaniard, who uh, stole it from the Argentine, and Osmar will try the shot! Oh, what a strike that is! Oh, what a goal! Out of nothing! And Team K-League take the lead inside seven minutes thanks to a really wonderful strike from Osmar, the Spaniard. Well, he's usually a centre-half for his club side, playing in midfield tonight. And he stole possession there from Iguain, broke forward and lashed it into the top corner. And Wojciech Szczesny had absolutely no chance. And the K-League bench are celebrating because their side have taken the lead. But now they find themselves behind. Iguain lays it on quickly, chance for a reply very quickly and it's come within seconds. And it's the youngster Simone Muratori who's levelled it up. I'm not quite sure how long Team K-League were ahead but it wasn't for very long. It's 1-1 here, less than a minute after Osmar's wonder strike. It just opened up and young Simone Muratore made no mistake and it's one apiece. Benedeschi into the box, tries the shot which is blocked. Osmar takes it off him and then... Uh, for this game this evening, Pjanic. Could still come to Pjanic who tries the shot and tries to beat Jung Wu at the near post and can't do so. Ball fell kindly to the Bosnian. Danger only as far as Pjanic. On again, Iguain's first touch is a poor one. Bernadeschi might get the shot away. He to find Bernadeschi. It's cut out, but only for a moment. They've lost it again. Iguain will try the shot. Punched away by Kyun Wo. And the is away. Danger here for Juventus. Trying to pick out Iguain, but that will uh, be snuffed out by the keeper. And Luigi Buffon at the age of 41. It for the Brazilian. A measured run up. And in the end, the shot doesn't quite. Poor Pjanic looking to find Mandzukic, but uh, yes, he's still here, folks. Adair, chance here for Lee Yong to get the cross in, finds some space, delivers it to the uh, far post. Cancelo with uh, takes no chances and nods it behind for another corner for Team K League. Home side have retained possession. Back into the penalty area, chance for the header. And that will drift wide of Suchesny's goal. Jungsun, the uh, thing to find the marauding Lee Young again and does so. But to deliver another cross, and this time it's players jump for it and get it away. The shot comes back in, and it's just over the crossbar. Beriato, the support now from Chan, but Beriato goes alone and nearly finds the bottom corner. Well, one Juve youngster has already scored, Murature. And the other one was trying to get himself on the score sheet there. Lee Young flips it into space. Lee Dong turns well, and he's able to get the shot away. Ruby Bernadeschi clips it to the far post, finding Mandzukic, and then... It's met first time. By Ragani, who couldn't hit the target, but uh, definitely a training ground drill there from you. And the ball has bounced kindly for Kimbo Kyung, and here's a chance for Cecilia! And he makes no mistake. And K-League take the lead before half-time, thanks to their Brazilian Cecilia. He's become more influential as the half has gone on. And that was a goal to celebrate. Well worked, and very emphatically finished by the 29-year-old Daegu player, Cristiano Ronaldo, looks on. We will see plenty of changes, I'm sure, in this set. Still on the bench as things stand, but he will almost certainly feature in the second half. With the pass on, there are players uh, in the box here for K-League. The cross comes in, and it's cut out by Cancelo. Superstars like Ronaldo, and it's also a chance to put the uh, Korean top flight in the shop window, as it were. Forward, 
and Wanderson to another half-time substitute, Park Ju Ho, who uh, gets it into the box. Diskaru with the shot, that's blocked. Another one will follow up, and no mistake this time from Adam Taggart. Another half-time substitute, the Australian, the leading scorer in K-League this season. 12 goals in 19 games domestically, and he's made no mistake with his first contribution to this occasion. The 26-year-old Suwon Blue Wing striker has lashed it into the corner of the net, and Team K-League have extended their lead before the break, and that's a neat layoff from Higuain Boratore, who's already scored once, looking to uh, get the shot away, and does so. Good. The young goalkeeper, she form. They actually only won one of their last nine games domestically. The time by Mandzukic to Jao Cancelo, who will look to uh, get the cross in, stands it up, headed away. Consolio makes way. Benucci lofts that one forward for Iguain to chase. With space to pick out the cross and does so, and the header just steered wide from Park Chu Young. And he almost made the real really ready source of danger. Picks out Wanderson and the Buffon is right behind the shot and makes it look straightforward. In questions. Iguain looks to turn, gets the shot away. Gonzalo Iguain finally found some room on the edge of the box and almost made it count. Too much space there for the Argentine. Jao Cancelo. Looking to find Mandzukic, the keeper is off his line but doesn't gather cleanly. He ate something with it, Cancelo. The edge of the box for Rabia, who waits and gets the shot away, it's deflected off. Valentinos could have gone anywhere. Goes behind in the end for a corner. Wanderson again, Taggart with the back heel, and the first time strike from Wanderson. Draws Buffon into action, but can't beat it. Neatly worked again, though, by the home side. He breaks forward at pace again. And here's Taggart. Checks inside. Could have taken it first time. But almost found the bottom corner anyway. Adam Taggart decided to check inside, but got the shot away. And almost found the bottom corner. Juve. But perhaps that will change here. Never did he. Trying to find room for the shot. Does so. Oh, it took a deflection. And that is a fine save. From Bumkyun, the young keeper, Bernadeschi, in towards Mafadini, who gets the header away, finds the corner of the net, and Juve have pulled back another goal. Well, that was neatly worked. It's Blaise Matuidi, in fact, on the score sheet, not the striker as I originally thought. Nucci with time to pick out the cross for Mandzukic, cut out only as far as Benedeschi. Another good save by Bumkyun, punching it away. Mandzukic, space here for Mateus Pereira. And that is very neatly done indeed by the Brazilian, and Juve have levelled it up here. Mateus Pereira working that very neatly and finishing it with some aplomb. And two quick goals from Juventus have repaired the scoreline from their point of view. First Matuidi, and now Mateus Pereira. Neatly done. Nutmeg on Valentinos, and then the... Adrian Rabiot. That's a neat run from Bernadeschi, who's full of work and has uh, beat the defender there and tries to beat the keeper at the near post and can't quite do so. Juve have really raised their levels in the last ten minutes or so of this game. A frustrated figure on the touchline, when isn't he? And uh, not long now, I'm afraid. The Tweedy and Mateus Pereira. And there you have it, the end of the game. Well, an occasion to remember for these fans here, 65,000 fans.